and they send us a moon like this. No, vegan. Next day, no, vegan. No, vegan, no, vegan please. And then finally they made the a dog vegan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Next year, we'll be Yeah, you better come back. Doesn't want you. If we stay alive, what's wrong with the past? Yeah, thank you. Hello? Fernando, nice to meet you. Diego, nice to meet you. Diego? Si, yes. Because it's Spanish name. Yeah, nice to meet you. Ah, we can come. Si, yeah. De donde? Ah, oh, aquí. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Conocimos el otro día un director mexicano, Isaac. Ah, ok. 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 Isaac, what is the name? The last one is... It was in competition in Hamburg. It was a really good one. Because I think it's like one of the... the now in Mexico. Isaac Esban. It's a really good idea. He made like a three or four general movies. I just want to say love the inspiration. Yeah, I was like, that line had to be a... Because I get like a little reference back to the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is, it's like the best, but also the body structure where it goes. Oh, it's one of the main influences for us. I mean, we, 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 we have this influence, like, you know, like uh, I think, unconscious as well. Uh, because we, we, we like to have like our own voice, even we are like... Uh, uh, Sorry, it's been a long day. I wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I mean, even we, uh, we give this... Um, um, no me sale in the English, but then... Homenajes. Homenajes. It's so different in the world. I mean, we, 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 we do this... Uh, uh, but we want to have like our, our own voice, even yes. you can see the influences, but we have a Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Congratulations. Fernando. Okay. Thank you very much. I love the set inside some of the vehicles. Here. Then I think it's better to go with that. Uh, are we black? Because this is uh, uh, roll and then probably I don't know. Yeah. I think it's now. Okay, hi. Uh, we're at Grimfest. and I'm joined by Fernando Gonzalez. Actually, I'm going to get your name right. Fernando <laughs> Gonzalez Gomez. That's right? it. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, director of the Passenger. Yep. And we're screening the UK premiere here at Grimfest. Uh It's such a Awesome film, we're so excited to have it at the festival. Could you tell us a little bit about the movie? Uh, well, it's a general movie, <laughs> terror, fantasy. It's a sharing trip, a road trip, uh, crossing the forest of the north of Spain to somewhere, and in a certain moment uh, they, they hit uh, a girl that is in, in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere in a road and from there I cannot say too more too much because I'm going to to, to give you too much info. <laughs> I've heard people describe it as in a very simple terms. It's a little bit like movies like The Thing and classic kind of alien monster movies but set in a very recognizable world. I mean, a lot of this takes place in a in, in a van yeah, with a, a bunch of people that are traveling in this van, yeah. and then they come across this crazy situation. Um, was it inspired? Were you inspired by some of the movies like that? Maybe well, John Carpenter's films. And it's inspired by a real, mm, uh, a real trip okay. that happened to 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 my friend and colleague Hector Raúl Cerezo. They was driving like five years ago to the City Film Festival, ah, and they was driving okay. a sharing car. Right. And they was uh, him and his uh, his colleague and uh, another and an an old very old woman from Madrid to City. And in a moment they need to stop to pick up another uh, customer yeah. of the sharing van, 
and was a black guy. And then when the black guy entered, they say, hello, how are everything? And in the moment he entered into the van, the old woman is starting to be a racist monster. <laughs> she started, oh yeah, okay. she's starting to move away from the guy to sing things like uh, what uh, uh, Raul asked to the guy, and what do you do for work, uh, for life? No, I work, uh, la, 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 and she said, what are you going to work? You cannot work, la, la. crazy, like a, a complete monster. Then uh, the first idea was to drop her in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and finish, but finally they finished the trip and they idea of something entering into a sharing van came was, that's from, where the idea from came from yep. but that then that idea expanded into yes. something much yes. bigger now now, now we don't have only an uh, old woman being racist <laughs> we have something, something more um tell us a little bit about how you made the movie because you, you shoot shot by the looks of it mainly on location Yes, so uh, we shoot the movie in a combination in between a real van in a real forest and then a, a replica van into a set. Okay. Uh, it was really uh, helpful to Raul and I in order to do the planification uh, because we are uh, directors that we really studied the, the planification and where the, the camera have to be and what the movies have to have in order to tell something to the audience with the camera movements. And then we, we needed to, to have something more than the, the standard uh, and the real NESA or the yeah. real uh, van. And finally, we have this uh, Lego van that we can uh, erase, like drop off the, the roof, the lateral, the front, in order to make all the shots that we want to, to use to tell the story. So a lot of the driving stuff, was that done in studio? A lot of, a lot of. We have 548 shots with a VFX. Wow. things on it but wow. most of those are invisible ones yeah, yeah, with yeah. reflection of the glasses yeah. or the backgrounds or the the, the, the green screens I, did, I couldn't tell I thought it was all shot on location which is quite something yeah it's nice there's a lot of effects work in the movie there's a lot of physical effects work yeah tell us a little bit about how that came about how you design those because it this creatures and this, this yeah this we, we, we have uh, Raul Castillo that is a designer that started to develop the first ideas of the monster yeah. also the sheep the different stages of the monster even the alien sorry well the monster the alien I mean you, you see in the movie like two stages or something like this but we really developed all the stages why and how he thinks uh, how um, what is his plans how how, how the the ships supposed to arrive the earth and all these things we we made with raul castillo with the designer and he made a l lot of drawings did uh, he design all of the yes the he designed it, everything we've been approving like the design of the ship that everything and then when we finish this we move with the art team and with the vfx team uh, in the hands of uh, uh, Inside effects that is the the same company that bring us a uh, wreck. Oh, yeah. wow! Same guys. Same, did, same guys. Did the effects work on wreck? Yeah, same fantastic. Guys. So, it, it's a real character piece as well. What's wonderful about it is, um, it's it, it's a big effects movie and it's a, a real genre piece. But also, there's a real uh, character journey in this film, yeah. and particularly with the central male character who is, I guess, a little bit of an anti-hero, is the kind of character that you, you, you shouldn't like, but you, you do you like. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. <laughs> Tell us a little <laughs> bit about, like. that, about the character. Well, uh, Raul and I, we are directors. Are, we really focus on the characters. We think that the movie, the heart of the movie, are the characters, and you need to know enough of them in order to be with them in the, in, into the adventure and not, not be just a voyeur uh, audience out of the movie, yeah. then we, we, we work it a lot in order that all the, the audience be inside the band with the characters yeah. suffering and, 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 and living the, the, the adventure. This is why we focus it a lot and we work it a lot with the, Ramiro the main, Glass. The main character, Blanco, yeah. is, is, tell us a bit about his character because he's quite a character, he's quite something. I mean, He's it's quite, it's quite everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, 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 we like it to work with uh, Ramiro Blas uh, with his character because it's like an anti-hero, but also it's like a, 
not white character. It's like a gray character. There is yeah. some things that you are not going to share with him, you, you, we don't like from him. Yeah, from the but start, from at the beginning of the film, it's like, oh, yeah. I don't know if I like this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the film, <laughs> you, 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 you like him. You know? we, we remember uh, a lot of uh, people, like in some, some other festivals, telling that uh, for the very first moment, we know that we need to hate him. But finally, we love him. <laughs> That's really hard to do. Yeah. Because some films, when you start with a character that you don't really like, it's very hard to, to uh, take the audience on a journey with them. If they decide from the start, I yeah. don't really like this person. Yeah. It's hard to turn them around. To, there's something about him. He's so natural, he's so real. Yeah. That even at the start, although he's cheeky and his attitude towards the women in the film is maybe a little bit old fashioned, yeah, yeah. He's, still, he's still charming. Yeah. There's something about still his charming. character. Uh, the, 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 the work of Ramiro, I mean, the text from uh, Luis Sanchez Pollack is great, but the, the role and the, 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 the hard work and the, and the passion, the passion that uh, Ramiro gives to the character. And, and the, the passion film. that he uh, worked a lot constructing yeah. the character. Also, he 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 he's stronger than in the movie. He loses a lot of weight in order to be thinner. Ah, that okay. looks like a bullfighter. Yes, you know all this. Yes, he, he made like a very physical work with us in order to how he walk. I remember he asked to wear uh, a certain boots that he have. He, he owned these boots yeah. because he know that with these cowboy boots, okay, he, yeah, yeah. He, he walked in another way, right? not the same way like with the sneakers so or something. Then he, yes, then he says, yeah. please, I need to wear my own boots. And the boots that Blasco have in the, in the movie, it's the Ramiro Blas boots. His relationship with the girl, it's, uh, if you haven't seen the film, it's difficult to explain, but um, it ends up with the two characters, really. The, you, the daughter of one of the other characters and him are the two people yeah. that survive to the, to the end of the film. I won't say anything more than that, but, yeah. but she, her performance is amazing as well. She's kind of, she's a 17, maybe? 16 in the movie. Okay. 16. And tell us a little bit about her character and the actress. That well, first of all, says that Paula Gallego entered in the project one week and a half before it started shooting. And then, then it's like a, it's crazy how so she didn't have she, a lot of time to prep. Nothing like uh, I mean, but in a moment she entered because we have another we had a, another actress, but some problems happened, and finally uh, she arrived to the project. And and in the first lines that she read in front of Ramiro. We, we felt the, yeah. the, the chemistry in between them. And I remember we finished this uh, test and, and then I came back to, to home and I, Ramiro crossed me in the street and, and told me, Fernando, it's the girl, it's the girl. <laughs> because he also felt this connection. Fantastic. So what's happening with the movie now? I, I, I know this was the UK premiere. I know it's, it's, it's been distributed in many countries. Actually, yep. for the UK, we're quite late to the table. Yes, yeah? you are the latest. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, well, it, it's, it's been this, the, the, the UK premiere, but uh, the movie is now like one week, uh, like three days ago, it's, it's sold to LATAM and it's now in the States. Uh, we're going to have uh, really good news for the next month in the States. and. And well, it's, it's, it's also been to be released uh, in October, at the end of October in Japan. I mean, we're so very do we, happy. Do we know anything about the UK release yet or not? No, we don't know. We don't know. We okay. know that the American distributor, the US distributor, is working to have some agreements in the United Kingdom. Then let's see if yeah. some place home somewhere, not, not too far away. Well, you I will wish have. you the best of luck with the re release of the film. And I know that you have another movie now that's also doing other festivals uh, yep. called The Elderly, yep. which is an also, also awesome genre film. Thank so you. you guys are very busy. A little bit, but uh, hopefully we will continue busy. Will you shoot another film soon? Who knows? <laughs> okay. It's not close. But we are working to try to, let's see if next year we can be shooting. And, and is that we love? And be maybe a passenger too? Who knows? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. I feel like can. at the end of the movie, you could easily kind you of, like, easily, right, yeah. we could do more with this. We, we, we have like a lot of uh, audience demands worldwide yeah. about yeah, to yeah. know more so. about Blasco. Yeah. And, and let's see, let's see if we can work on that way and, and make it real. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for your time and for the festival and the organization. Cheers.
Cut. Hey, thanks, Jet. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay.